Choose your team and get your game face on because it's time for a Pokemon battle. Begin! <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Pokemon battles from the animated show. Bulbasaur, Razor Leaf, let's go! Let's go! For this list, we've chosen the most action-packed and fan-pleasing Pokemon battles that Ash and company have taken part in over the course of the long-running series. Wow. As you may have guessed, battles from the actual games won't be included in the list, and there will be a few spoilers here and there, so spoiler alert. Metapod, harden like his. Maximum hardness, Metapod. Number 10, Ash versus Brandon. What's worse than facing a gym leader? A gym leader who's packing legendaries. Ice Beam, go! Oh, no, Pikachu! Facing off against the last of the frontier brains, Ash took on Brandon in a four versus four Pokemon battle. What was great about this fight is not only did Ash's Squirtle and Bulbasaur make a reappearance, they both took down tough opponents, despite both taking a heavy beating. The stage is finally set! Now, Regice, focus punch! Yet, the climax of the battle was when Pikachu took on one of the legendary golems, Regice. That yellow mouse sure has come far. Regice! is unable to battle! Number 9, Charizard versus Mewtwo. This is it! You're all I've got left to count on! Charizard! Taking a quick break from Ash, we turn our attention to the Pokemon Origin special that tipped the hat to fans of the games. This floor is where we honor and record the valiant efforts of the Pokemon League champions and their Pokemon. In this four-part series, we follow Red as he travels around the region of Kanto, earning badges and catching pretty much every Pokemon he comes across. You know, that thing Ash was meant to be doing. But this series wasn't just a nostalgia trip. It had its fair share of kick-ass fights. And what's more kick-ass than Charizard taking on Mewtwo? With fast-paced action, beautiful visuals, and a mega evolution to boot for fans to get pumped for Pokemon X and Y. This is a must-watch fight for Pokemon fans everywhere. Number 8, Ash versus Jeanette. Yeah, Jeanette. She should win. We're here to root for Ash! Whose side are you on, anyway? Ah, the good old days of the Indigo League. Back when a Bellsprout could actually kick ass. <laughs> As he makes his way towards the final, Ash's Bulbasaur almost makes a clean sweep of Jeanette's bug Pokemon, until an unexpected final choice turns the battle around. I don't think any of us were expecting Pikachu to be defeated, especially by a Bellsprout. Of course, Ash manages to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat in a somewhat hilarious twist. Oh, that's a nasty way to go. <laughs> now I understand how that bell sprout felt. <laughs> that muck can really smother you with affection. Number seven, Charizard versus Articuno. Wow, I've never seen a more awesome Pokemon. It's really beautiful. Back to the battle frontier, as well as the return of the old favorite. Just as I expected, Charizard's a match even for an Articuno. Careful, don't count your victory just yet. Fans had gone quite a while without seeing Ash's Charizard, but their patience was rewarded when he came back for a solo battle against the one and only Articuno. Despite having the type advantage, the fearsome dragon quickly realized that Articuno isn't a legendary Pokemon for nothing, yet he still manages to snag a win for his trainer despite the odds. <laughs> Number 6. Infernape versus Electivire. Electivire, stand by for battle! During his journey through the Pokemon regions of Diamond and Pearls, Ash found a new rival in the pragmatic yet cynical Paul. The power! They're even! These two battled on multiple occasions, ultimately leading up to their final bout in the quarterfinals of the Sinnoh Championships. Ah! 
as you'd expect, it leads up to last Pokémon standing between Paul's Electivire and Ash's Infernape. Reggie once called them two sides of the same coin, mirrors of each other. They may have the same goals, but they've always taken different paths to reach them. Filled with flames and thunderbolts, it's an intense match that pushes both Pokémon trainers to their limits. Number 5, Charizard vs. Blaziken. Wow, those two are so strong! Yes, a battle like this one could only take place between two very high-level Pokémon. Oh yeah, expect Charizard to be showing up a lot here. Now, Flamethrower! Charizard strikes back with Flamethrower! After finding his way into another championship, Ash ended up taking on an opponent who had a few tricks up his sleeve, namely in the form of Blaziken. Blaziken is unable to battle! Huh? Blaziken! No! That's it! Now show him who's in charge! That might not mean much nowadays, but when this episode premiered, this was the first time fans of the show had seen a Blaziken, and it did not fail to impress. That Blaze Kick is right on target! A Blaze Kick attack! When you manage to bring down Ash's Charizard with fire type moves alone, it's worthy of recognition. And it also showed that the Hoenn region had some damn strong Pokémon waiting to be discovered. Charizard is unable to battle, and Blaziken wins! Number 4, Ash vs. Drake. Winding up for a super seismic toss! Don't you just love it when the underdog comes out on top? After battling his way through the various Orange Islands, Ash goes head-to-head -head against Drake, a champion with six powerful Pokémon of his own. There are a lot of highlights here. Lapras vs. Gengar, Taurus vs. Venusaur, but the highlight of the battle has to go to Pikachu vs. Dragonite. Amazing how one little mouse can bring down a dragon, but then again, most mice can't bring the thunder like Pikachu can. Pikachu, thunder attack! Pikachu lights into Dragonite with a tremendous thunder attack! Number 3. Charizard vs. Magmar Nothing beats the classics. Battling for his penultimate gym badge, Ash found himself in hot water when up against the riddle-spouting Blaine and his Magmar. Pikachu, duck for cover! Pikachu! Pikachu! After nearly barbecuing Pikachu, his last hope came in the form of Charizard, who by this stage was still something of a rebellious douche. Charizard, Richard! That changed when he found Magmar to be a worthy opponent, or at least another Pokémon he wanted to take down. Charizard never wants to do anything but sleep. Maybe because Charizard saw how strong Magmar is, he wants to test its strength. As you can imagine, the fight is intense and filled to the brim with flames. It also showed why Charizard is such a badass. I mean, do you know any other Pokémon that can catch a Fire Blast? Number 2, Pikachu vs. Raichu. The gym leader, Lieutenant Surge, has chosen Raichu. The challenger, Ash, has chosen Pikachu. We all know that Pikachu is a powerhouse in a pint-sized body, but back in the first season, that wasn't always the case. Do it, Raichu! Give it the body slam! Ah, ah. While trying to earn another gym badge, our favorite electric mouse gets the thunder kicked out of him by his evolutionary counterpart, Raichu. Give us the big finale, Raichu! Pikachu! It's then that Ash has to make a tough decision on whether to forcefully evolve Pikachu to make him a match for Raichu, or find another way to win. Raichu! Needless to say, Ash chooses the latter, and what follows is Rocky Balboa, the Pokémon version. Before we choose you, our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh! Incredible! Use takedown. Yeah. 
Number one, Ash versus Gary, Charizard versus Blastoise. Good morning. Two talented trainers, two fully evolved Pokemon, and one childhood rivalry leading up to one epic Pokemon battle that was four years in the making. Brock, could that be? The same Squirtle that Gary originally received from Professor Oak? Yeah, that's the one. Our top pick goes to the final confrontation between Ash and Gary, the two trainers from Pallet Town who now find themselves battling at the Silver Conference. How's that, Gary? Magmar, Fire Blast! Boom! Their rivalry comes full circle as the two show just how far they've come since the first episode, and fans are treated to a whole host of intense battles, the pinnacle of course being Charizard vs. Blastoise. Charizard, flamethrower! Blastoise, rapid spin now! Blastoise! Again, rapid spin proves a strong defense, this time against Charizard's flamethrower! Yet, despite Charizard having the type disadvantage, the Burning Lizard still proves why he's the king. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite animated Pokemon battle? For more of your favorite top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's hard, but it's not impossible.